Hello everyone. Today we will solve some problems which were given in your test. The first problem was that you have to find the nature of the force. Is it conservative or non-conservative? And your force was given F is equal to uh, y square z cube minus 6x z square i plus 2xy z cube j plus 3x y square z square minus 6 x square z k for to find the nature of the force uh, you will find del cross f where del is an operator or it is dl numbered operator it is equal to i del over del x plus j del over del y plus k del over del z so here uh, if you solve it by determinant method then you will find that your del cross f is not equal to zero so your force is non-conservative how you can write it in determinant form you can write it as first you will write i j k then you will write del over del x del over del y del over del z then x component of the force it will be uh, y square z cube minus 6 x z square the y component of the force is 2 x y z cube and the z component of the force is 3 x y square z square minus 6 x square z now you can open this determinant and you know how to open a determinant so you can solve it and its answer is that nature of the force is non-conservative the next problem is that the Yukawa potential is given uh, by u r is equal to minus r0 upon r u0 e to the power minus r upon r0 here your potential or potential energy is function of the uh, position coordinates so here in this problem you have to find the value of the force now its solution can be found like because your potential or potential energy is function of the position coordinates so you can write your force as it, it will be equal to minus du over dr right so for force you have to differentiate this with respect to r here your r0 and u0 are constant so if you solve it uh, then uh, you can differentiate it uh, like Uh, you 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 can write your constant outside and d over d d over dr one upon r into 
e to the r minus r upon r zero. Here one upon r you can assume the first function and e to the power minus r upon r zero as the second function. The third problem is the potential energy function for the force between two atoms in a diatomic molecule can be approximately expressed as here ux is equal to a upon x to the power 12 minus b upon x to the power 6 here a and b are positive constants and x is the distance between the atoms for what value of x ux is equal to 0 or 0 and minimum now it can be solved as when your ux is 0 that means you will find two values one will be x equal to infinite and the other will be x equal to a upon b to the power 1 by 6 here most of the students do not write the value x equal to infinite because here you will take uh, 1 upon x to the power 6 common then it will be a upon x to the power 6 minus b right so you will write 1 upon x to the power 6 equal to 0 so x will be equal to infinite you will find the other value that will be x equal to a upon b to the power 1 by 6 now the next is that uh, you have to find the value of x when it is minimum you know that you will find uh, du or dx now your next problem was mutual interaction force between two particles can change so its answer is that kinetic energy but not linear moment next problem is find constant is holonomic or non holonomic as a particle moving on an ellipsoid under the influence of gravity so it is a non holonomic constraint because when a particle is moving on an ellipse at some time it will leave the surface of the ellipse right so it is a known holonomic constraint the next problem was that determine the number of degree of freedom for a massless road moving freely in space with a particle which is constant to move on the road so its answer is its degree of freedom will be 4 the next problem was that your total angular momentum uh, of a point about a reference point is equal to the sum of the uh, angular momentum of the particle about center of mass plus angular momentum of the center of mass about the reference point 
and j is total angular momentum of the particle about the reference point so in next video we will solve some more problems thank you